I'll be showing how to create a OneNote staff notebook inside of a Microsoft staff team. A staff notebook is great for school administrators and educators who want to save time, be more organized, and collaborate more effectively. Now to start off, I need to create a staff team. So in the upper right in Teams, I'm going to click Join a Create Team. And now I'll go over here and click Create Team. You can see I have four choices, Class, PLC, Staff, or Other, and I'll choose Staff. And we'll give it a name, Pineview Staff, hit Next. We'll add a few people to it. Okay, Add. Okay, let's close that. And I'll quickly give this a nice little icon. Now in this team, you have Post, Files, and Staff Notebook. So we'll set this up. I'm going to click on Staff Notebook. Now this is where you can set up your OneNote Staff Notebook. So down here, we're going to set up a OneNote Staff Notebook. Let's click the button. Now I can start with a blank notebook, or if I had a previous staff notebook, maybe I used this when I was using OneNote before Teams and I had a staff notebook set up and I want to import a lot of that content, I could do that as well. But we'll start out with a blank notebook here. Now here are the different parts of this notebook. There's a collaboration space where people can work together, everyone can add and contribute, and that's a collaborative area. The content library is the read-only part where I as a leader can put materials in, but no one else can change what I'm doing. So it's read only for everyone else, but the staff leader can put materials in there. There's a leader only section, which is just private for the staff leader. No one else can see that area. It's the private part of my notebook. And lastly, and maybe most interesting, are the private staff member spaces that each person in the team gets. So that's an area where the staff leader can collaborate privately with those staff members. So maybe it's a principal working with educators. It could be a superintendent working with principals. There's lots of different combinations of how the staff leader can work with those private staff notebooks. So I'm going to choose next. Now this is where you set up the different templates in each of those private staff member spaces. So again, if I was the principal, here's some examples of the five sections that I might want to set up for every educator that I work with. And I can change these. In this case, it has professional development, classroom observations, lesson plan, feedback, evaluation, and parent communication. Now, maybe I didn't want all these. I can change it. Maybe I didn't want to have parent communication. I can remove that. And I can add one back as well. So I click Add Section right here. And I'm just going to rename it the same thing, Parent Communication. But I can customize this and add and remove some of these sections as I want. So when I create this notebook, as the staff leader, I'm the hub, and all those private staff member notebooks are like little spokes, and I can interoperate with each of those. And I'm going to click Create, and this will go and create this structured notebook with the collaboration space, the content library, and all these private notebooks. So I'll click Create. And it just takes a minute while it creates this entire notebook structure. Now the staff notebook is fully created, and here's the welcome page as the staff leader. I can see this, welcome to the staff notebook. It explains the structure a little bit. Now I'm going to switch over to a staff notebook that's fully populated. And I'm going to walk through and show the examples of how staff teams can use this. Because seeing the examples of how it's used is really compelling to understand why this is such a useful tool in education. Here I am in a fully populated staff notebook and staff team. It's all updated now. Now first off, I'm going to go in the upper right and make this full screen so I can see everything in my OneNote staff notebook. Over here on the left, I can expand and show the navigation pane. And you can see the collaboration space, the content library, leader only, and then all of the different staff members who I added to my team. These are their private notebook spaces. And remember, because I'm the staff leader, I have a chance to look into all of these. So Irvin cannot see Jennifer and Megan cannot see Patty, but I can see all of them as the staff leader. So let's start out with the collaboration space and I'll expand this. Now first off, you can see staff meeting notes. And this is a very simple but powerful scenario. Keep all of your meeting notes in one place so the whole staff can have access. So I'm clicking around and you can see lots of interesting information. Maybe even have things about student achievement that you've been tracking. So all of that's in my staff meeting notes. Curriculum research. This is maybe I'm capturing curriculum research for a certain topic. We're redesigning the curriculum. Initiatives. This is just basic school initiatives. So it might be fundraising or a spirit week or even things like fall planning. Shared resources is just a nice place you could put things. Maybe you have a whole set of things that you've been capturing and doing research on. Just like a regular shared notebook. That's how to think about the collaboration space. Let's go next to the content library. Now this is the area that is read only for everyone else except the staff leader. 
And also a note, if you added other owners to the team, they would automatically become staff leaders along with you. So some common things, dates and deadlines, maybe fall sports, bus schedules, anything that might be interesting around dates you could put in here. Policies and procedures. Because you can send emails easily to OneNote, maybe there's things about school clubs or certain emails that are really important. All of that can go right into that staff notebook. This is a policies and procedures example where I might not want people to mess with these things, but I want to make sure they can find it. Tools and technology or distance learning information or school handbooks. All of that can go in your content library. Now we're going to go to the leader only section. This is the area that is private just to the school leader or any of the owners of that staff notebook. So you can see there's a nice little graphic here by default with a lock, meaning no one else can see this except me, the owner of this staff team and staff notebook. So this can be great for notes or private conversations or information that you want to keep just to yourself. The last area we'll show are the private staff member notebooks. What does that mean? That's the private space where the school leader, in this case, can interact privately and give feedback and have conversations with that particular person. So let's expand one of these and take a look. Now I have Brock's private staff member area open. So as the school leader, I now can take a look in here. Here's his professional development that he's doing so I can take a look through this. And you can see the richness of OneNote and how useful this could be. I could also put classroom observations in here. So if I'm doing classroom observations of Brock, I can have all that information stored here. Here's an example. Now this is nice. All the things from my classroom observation are right in here. I can scroll down and see I've done some inking in this case. We also have the formal observation. Here's an example where I've just printed a form and inked on it. Peer-to-peer -peer observations and lots of other things. And a note, this doesn't have to just be done in Teams. I can easily open this up in my OneNote. So if I choose open here, I can say open in the OneNote desktop app. And that can open it up in OneNote where you have rich inking and all the other features of OneNote. So you don't have to do everything right here inside of Teams. We'll go next to lesson plan feedback. Maybe Brock's working on lesson plans and I want to give some feedback. So here's a really nice, rich lesson plan. I can see what he's planning, give feedback, and all sorts of lesson plan information I can access. I could choose to do evaluation information as a school leader, and we can have those communications, or even things like parent communication. Maybe Brock is having challenges with a certain student, and he wants to capture specific emails from the parents. So you could send those into OneNote. There's lots of ways to capture parent communication. So these are just some ideas. You can customize this in any way you want. Now I'll go back up to the top and we'll just stop at the welcome section here. Note that there's a staff notebook toolbar in the staff notebook as well. So if I click here, I can do the similar things like I do in a class notebook. So I can distribute pages in my staff notebook. I can push out pages to the private binders. I can create section groups. Let's say I wanted to create a new section in everyone's private staff binder. I can choose distribute new section and let's say here and I'll put one and I'll call it rubric design. So maybe we're going to ever have everyone has a section where they're going to be designing some rubrics. I click distribute and this will put a rubrics section into everyone's binder and it says distributed. So now I'll close this. We'll go back and if I scroll down here, what you're going to see is there's a rubrics section that was distributed to each of those private staff member notebooks. So back on the staff notebook tab here, I can also manage the notebook. So if I click manage notebooks here, this takes me into the setup area. So this is where I can change some of the sections that I've added. I could add more right here. I could lock the collaboration space. Maybe I didn't want anyone to use the collaboration space. If I want a notebook link to send to someone, I could copy it here. And I can even do things like set the default location when I create new channels for notes. That's a different video I've made that explains how you can map your notes channel to either collaboration space or the content library. But this is the area where you can manage your staff notebook. I'll go here and click close. There are a few other options here. I can go to professional development and there's some nice links for training, guides, our blog, the educator community, and then help and feedback is also useful. If you're having an issue, you need to get help from our education support staff, check out our knowledge base, or even suggest a feature, that's right there as well. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.